I am Jesse Dollimore with statesmith.com. Well, Tommy Lahren, America's favorite lip flapper, took to Fox News' airwaves this morning to, and I know you're all gonna be very shocked by this, she took to their airwaves to bitch and complain about black people, specifically in this case, Jay-Z, while blindly defending her intellectual role model, Donald Trump. There really is just too much stupid contained in her two and a half minute ranting to address it all. So let's just tackle her foundational point, which challenges someone to explain how Donald Trump is a racist. <laughs> Are you ready, Tammy? Brace yourself for this one, folks. Last week on David Letterman's Netflix show, rap mogul and glorified ex-drug dealer 14 years, Sean Carter, a.k.a. Jay-Z, took a swipe at President Trump, claiming our president is, quote, bringing out an ugly side of America. Take a look. He's bringing out an ugly side of America that we wanted to believe was gone. And it's still here, and we still gotta deal with it. And, we have to have the conversation. We have to have tough conversation. We have to talk about the N-word, and we have to talk about why uh, white men are so privileged in this country. Wait, wait, wait. Donald Trump is bringing out the ugly side of America? How so? Consistent economic growth, the lowest unemployment rate in 17 years, or better yet, how about the lowest black unemployment rate in 45 years? Please, Jay, tell us. You imply Donald Trump is a racist based on what? Wow. Tabloid lightning. Seriously, this is just too damn easy. Based on what? Based on what is Donald Trump racist? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, how's about the time when he was sued by the federal government for refusing to rent apartments to black citizens, even going as far as to writing a letter C for colored on the rental applications? How about him saying he'd much rather be a well-educated black because of the disproportionate number of advantages they have. A well-educated black has a tremendous advantage over a well-educated white in terms of the job market. And I think sometimes a black may think that they don't really have the advantage or this or that, but in actuality, today, currently, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great, I've said on occasion, even about myself, if I were starting off today, I would love to be a well-educated black because I really believe they do have an actual advantage today. Or when he categorized Mexican immigrants as rapists. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Remember the time when he said that an American judge couldn't do his job because he was a Mexican? If you are saying he can't do his job because of his race, is that not the definition of racism? No, I don't think so at all. No? No, no. he's proud of his heritage. I, I respect him for that. You're saying he can't do his job because of it. Uh, look, he's proud of his heritage, okay? I'm building a wall. Now, I think I'm going to do very well He's with Hispanics. Legal citizen. You know why I'm going to do well with Hispanics? Because I'm going to bring back jobs, and they're going to get jobs right now. They're going to get jobs. I think I'm going to do very well with Hispanics, but we're building a wall. He's a Mexican. We're building a wall between here and Mexico. You know, what, one of my favorite things is watching the totally not racist Trump refuse to disavow the endorsement of former KKK Grand Wizard David Duke, thus giving comfort and legitimacy to their movement of hatred. I wanna ask you about the Anti-Defamation League, which this week called on you to publicly condemn unequivocally the racism of former KKK Grand Wizard David Duke, who recently said that voting against you at this point would be treason to your heritage. Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? Well, just so you understand, I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy or white supremacists. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know, did, did he endorse me or what's going on? Because, you know, I know nothing about David Duke. I know nothing about white supremacists. And so you're asking me a question that I'm supposed to be talking about people that I know nothing about. But the, I guess the question from the, from the Anti-Defamation League is, even if you don't know about their endorsement, there are these groups and individuals endorsing you, would you just say, 
unequivocally you condemn them and you don't want their support? Well, I have to look at the group. I mean, I don't know what group you're talking about. You wouldn't want me to condemn a group that I know nothing about. I have to look. If you would send me a list of the groups, I will do research on them. And certainly I would disavow if I thought there was something wrong. The but you Ku may Klux have Klan? groups in there that are totally fine and it would be very unfair. So give me a list of the groups and I'll let you know. Okay. I mean, I'm just talking about David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan here, but... I don't know, any, honestly, I don't know David Duke. I don't believe I've ever met him. I'm pretty sure I didn't meet him, and I just don't know anything about him. Or a couple of years later, when he doubled down on his cozy relationship with these same vile scumbags by saying that there were very fine people among the alt-right, white nationalists, white supremacists who marched on Charlottesville and murdered Heather Heyer. <laughs> So you said there was hatred, there was violence on both sides. Are, are well, I do the think there's blame. Yes, I think there's blame on both sides. You look at you look at both sides. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it. And you don't have any doubt about it either. And only and, 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 and if you reported it accurately, you would say. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group, excuse me, excuse me, I saw the same pictures as you did. Trump has on several occasions, without apology or explanation, retweeted racist white supremacists who are so committed to their ideology of hate that their Twitter handle has white genocide right in the name. Is this not enough for you, trench coat? Well, how about he takes every opportunity to question the patriotism of black NFL players who were making a statement in support of black Americans all over the country who are seven to nine times more likely to be shot and killed by police while unarmed than white people are. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Your totally not racist hero spent years trying to undermine the citizenship of America's first black president. He also spent years feeding another racist stereotype by calling into question the work ethic of our first, first black president by painting him as lazy. Look, I know Islam isn't a race, but it's crystal clear where Donald Trump's head's at when he calls for a total and complete shutdown, a ban on Muslims entering America. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. How about when your idol took out full page ads in New York newspapers calling for the death penalty for five black and Latino teenagers accused of raping a white woman in Central Park? And despite the fact that these men were exonerated by DNA evidence, Donald Trump has continued to say they were guilty as recently as 2016. Well, I'm gonna stop here, tightrope, but just know that this list is far, far longer than just these few examples. So save your fake outrage. Where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And in Donald Trump's case, there isn't just a lot of smoke. We can witness and feel the heat from the white hot racist fires that burn within him. People are judged based on those with whom they associate and defend, Tammy, and you spend an awful lot of time trafficking in Donald Trump's defense. Be careful, Tommy. Someone may begin to think you're a racist, but why would they think that? It's not like you've built a career on maintaining a singular focus on this issue, constantly and systematically attacking black folks in America like Beyonce and Jay-Z, Jesse Williams, Colin Kaepernick, and other NFL players, as well as Black Lives Matter in general. Right, Tommy? Right? You're not a racist. Right?